In this patch, we're going to use the Matrix Mixer as a feedback audio mixer. What this does is utilizes the ability of the matrix mixer to feed signals into each other and into their own inputs in order to make effects modules feedback and kind of create these long ambient patches. And where this is often useful is if you're in a live environment and you have a patch going and you want to have a transition go while you repatch the main track. So one thing you might do is have, um, in this case, uh, a sequence going into the first input and then start using the other inputs and outputs for the effects. So in this patch, I'm going straight from the VCA out into the Mordex data and then into the first input of the matrix mixer. Uh, I'm bypassing the distortion and the delay by going straight to the VCA out and this will allow us to use, in this case, the delay module. So I'm gonna start by patching that in to input two from the output, which is where the delay outputs to. And then I'm gonna put output B into the input of the delay. And now I'm gonna start turning the knob up that sends the sequence into the delay. And spoiler alert, this is not one of my favorite delays for this purpose. Um, it's kind of noisy, bucket brigade-y, not the greatest for ambient type stuff, but it's what we're working with, so we'll keep using it. And now I'm actually sending the delay into itself. You gotta be very careful with this delay, it, it gets distorted very easily. I don't have a reverb in my system, so now I'm going to use a Strymon Reverb stomp box. I've noticed that the Strymon Reverb and uh, several other digital pedals don't seem to need the AI06 stomp box adapter. I think it's because they must have some kind of normalization algorithm going on, so I'm just going to patch it straight. So I'm just using input 3 and output C to patch in the reverb, and now I'm going to send the main sequence to the reverb. Does need the AIO6. And now I'm sending the delay into the reverb. And now the reverb into itself. I can completely remove the audio sequence slowly. Keep a handle on that delay. So this would be kind of like the end of your track where you're removing this audio sequence altogether and you're just letting it kind of feedback and play off itself. Because I completely unplugged it. And now you can do whatever you need to do patching for the next patch while you just let the feedback mixer do its thing. Or play with the knobs. <laughs> 